Choosing the best Canon camera is a tall order. We are, after all, talking about the biggest camera company in the world. Canon makes everything from budget beginner bodies up to cameras used to shoot movies, so there's a lot to choose from. So, without further ado, let dive in. Number 5. Canon EOS R6 The Canon's EOS R6 was a more affordable version of the R5. The R6 II makes several useful improvements to that formula, cementing its position as one of the best mirrorless all-rounders for Canon fans. Even boosted from 20.1 megapixels to 24.2 megapixels, its sensor still has a lower pixel count than the EOS 6D Mark II. And at 4K 60p, its video resolution can't challenge the 8K offered by the R5. Yet we found in testing that the EOS R6 II is a fantastic shooting tool. Its AI-powered autofocus proved highly effective and low-light performance terrific. By doubling the already rapid electronic burst shooting speeds to 40 FPAs, the EOS R6 II sets the pace among mirrorless cameras, making it a top choice for shooting action. You'll find better value if you prioritize stills or video. And the incremental improvements don't justify upgrading from an EOS R6. But if you're already invested in Canon's RF system and willing to part with a chunk of cash, the R6 II is a seriously capable hybrid. The Canon EOS R6 might be the mirrorless alternative to the very popular EOS 6D Mark II DSLR, but it's way more than just an upgrade. Its autofocus performance and image stabilization are best in class, while a blitzing burst speed makes it perfect for any sports or wildlife scenario. Long story short, it's one of the best all-rounders you can get, although its 20MP sensor resolution might not suit everyone. Number 4. Canon EOS R7 we think the EOS R7 is one of the top options in Canon's lineup for enthusiast shooters. In testing, its compact proportions made it a nice camera to use, with a reasonably chunky grip and accessible control layout. Yet it also benefits from a generous feature set while undercutting its full-frame cousins. Among the highlights is Canon's latest dual-pixel CMOS AF2 autofocus, which proved both rapid and reliably capable of keeping up with subjects. Electronic burst speeds of up to 30 FAPs also make it a dream for sports and wildlife photography, with in-body image stabilization offering 8 stops of compensation when shooting handled. Low-light results aren't quite on par with Canon's full-frame models, but it's hard to argue when you're getting such impressive versatility and value. That includes two UHS-2 card slots, an articulating touchscreen, and the ability to shoot uncropped 4K 60p video. All that's holding the Canon EOS R7 back right now is a lack of native lenses. There's an awful lot to like about the Canon EOS R7, and it feels like the mid-range camera that a lot of Canon fans have been waiting for. It's fast, has powerful autofocus that keeps up with a range of subjects, produces excellent images, handles well, and is priced competitively. If Canon can give us some more of these soon, the EOS R7 could deservedly become one of its most popular cameras. Number 3. Canon EOS R3 the best premium camera you can buy in 2024. The Canon EOS R3 is every bit a professional mirrorless camera. It has fewer megapixels than the EOS R5 because it's built for speed instead of outright resolution. And if the former is your priority, it's the best Canon camera you can get. During our extensive time testing the EOS R3, we found it one of the best sports and wildlife cameras we've ever tested. At its core is a 24. 1MP stacked CMOS sensor which we described in our review as a purring photographic engine. It can shoot full-quality raw images at a remarkable 30 FPS, as well as 6K 60P raw video internally without any noticeable rolling shutter. We were also mightily impressed by its autofocus system and reassured by the tough magnesium alloy build. In short, the EOS R3 is the pinnacle of mirrorless speed. It's undeniably big and expensive, but if you need an uncompromising Canon camera and can afford to pay the premium, you won't be disappointed. A powerful blend of the old and new, the EOS R3 is one of the best sports and wildlife cameras ever made. Inside its old-school body is cutting-edge tech, including a new stacked sensor, hugely impressive autofocus skills, and 6K video. Number 2. Canon EOS R10 The best budget Canon camera. If you can look past the old-school sensor, we think Canon's EOS R10 is one of the best entry-level mirrorless cameras for beginners. Fitted with Canon's powerful Digic X chip, it also benefits from truly modern autofocus abilities. In testing, the processor and AF tracking together proved remarkably powerful, 
Continuous shooting speeds of 15 FPS with the mechanical shutter also mean the EOS R10 is a winner if you want to experiment with action photography. With dual control dials and a dedicated AF joystick, we found that the EOS R10 made it straightforward for learners to get hands-on with creative shooting. Low-light abilities are limited by the lack of in-body image stabilization, but image quality still proved decent during our tests, with plenty of detail hiding in the shadows. Video skills are solid too, with 4K footage oversampled at 30 FPS. Provided Canon comes out with more native APS-C lenses to grow with, the R10 hits the top spot for beginners. The Canon EOS R10 is a versatile little powerhouse and one of the best cameras around for beginners. Thanks to its modern autofocus smarts and good handling, it's an affordable way into the EOS R system for new converts and an enjoyable second camera for existing Canon fans. Keen wildlife or action snappers should make the jump up to the EOS R7 though. Number 1. Canon EOS R5. The Canon EOS R5, particularly if you're a stills photographer. In fact, we'd say that there's never been a better Canon camera for those who shoot a wide range of photography. We've spent a lot of time with the EOS R5 since it launched, and our tests have consistently found it to have fantastic image quality, seriously impressive autofocus, and decent battery life. We're also big fans of the body design, which combines a responsive touchscreen with a superb electronic viewfinder. It might have the headline-grabbing spec of 8K video, but the picture is a little less clear for videographers. The EOS R5's overheating restrictions are likely to put off those who shoot lengthy clips, interviews for example. We've tested the EOS R5's latest firmware though, and didn't get any overheating warnings when shooting a short film in 32 degree temperatures, so it's certainly a very capable video camera for most people. However, that comes at a cost. The EOS R5 has a high asking price, but if you're keen on the brand, then it may be worth paying.